And in the Sukh, there was once a man that came, and he was a, he was a person from the Romans, and he said, I have, I have questions. Anyone here want to answer me? He didn't go to the masjid, he went to the Sukh. He said, who was there before God? Man kana qabla Allah, who was there before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He said, in what direction does Allah face? And what is Allah doing right now? Three very odd questions. And he kept asking these questions and people didn't know how to answer him. They're like, you know, everyone kind of ignored him. So Imam Muhanif rahimahullah, he got sick of him. And he was working with his father at the time. So he's still a very young man. So this is 11 years old. He's an 11-year-old boy. And he goes up to the guy and he said, you know, what was your first question? He said, who was there before Allah? He said, do me a favor and count from 10 to 0 backwards. So he counted from 10 to 0 backwards. Actually, 10 to 1. They didn't have 0, right? 10 to 1. So when he got to 1, he said, that's it. He said, can't you go further? He said, no. He said, likewise, we don't go further than Allah the One. Right? So he said, what was your second question? He said, in what direction does Allah face? So Imam Abu Hanifa rahimahullah said, do you own candles? He said, yeah. He said, when you light up your candles, they light up the entire room, right? He said, yeah. He said, Do they, does it stay facing only one direction or does it just light up the entire room no matter what direction it's facing? He said, no matter what, it's, it lights up the entire room. He says, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard. Allah is the light of the heavens and the earth. We don't ask that question. It doesn't matter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the light of the heavens and the earth. Then he said, what was your third question? And as the man was about to ask the third question, Imam Hanifa was kind of like, upset with this. He's a kid, right? He's 11 years, but he's like, you know what, I'm sick of this guy. He's yelling and screaming in the marketplace and making a fool of everyone. So he said, you know, people can't hear my answers because I'm really young. So he said, how about we switch spots? Because the man was sitting, you know, he, he put like a stool or something and started standing on it and speaking. He said, how about we switch spots so people can hear my answer? So the man said, why? He said, because, you know, first, he said, look, two questions, no one heard my answer. He said, the third one, I want everyone to hear my answer. So he said, fine. So he got off the stool, Abu Hanifa stood on the stool. And he said, what was your third question? He said, um, he said that, uh, what was the third question? He said that, what is Allah doing right now? What is Allah doing right now? ماذا يفعل الله? What's Allah doing right now? He said, Allah is humiliating a humiliated man and Allah is honoring me. <laughs> SubhanAllah, that's like the ultimate, like just poof. Now be gone, right? So as a young man, he has these debating skills. So he was able to, and this is, this is, Al-Dhahabi rahimahullah says that, you know, people used to excel in debating with certain groups. Like you study a group and you debate them. He said, Abu Hanifa could debate with any group and he could win. 